indeed a milestone achievement, as it dovetails His Excellency the President's trust of creating homegrown solutions for our local challenges through research and innovation. Allow me to commend the Research Council of Zimbabwe and the Minister of Higher and Tertiary Education, Innovation, Science and Technology Development for the initiative to host the first ever conference on research, science, technology and innovation. I appreciate the efforts of bringing together stakeholders in the research, science, technology and innovation ecosystem to interface with an aim to fulfill the national goal of transforming Zimbabwe into a knowledge-based society. This is the only way we can build the Zimbabwe that we all want. Research and development, science, innovation and technology is a critical and inevitable cogwheel for industrialization and the growth of the economy. You will agree with me that the hosting of this conference is in line with the guest of honors Heritage-Based Education 5.0, as well as the second science, technology, and innovation policy of 2012. As such, this conference should ensure our national research efforts are synchronized with our national vision 2030 and socio-economic policies as well as asserting the Council as the apex institution in the research, science, technology, and innovation ecosystem. Your Excellency, may I propose that the 5.0 heritage-based education, which is currently being emphasized at, the, at universities, be extended to primary and secondary levels. This will create an effective identification and grounding of our to be scientists at an early stage. Therefore, I urge stakeholders to burn their midnight candles to come up with a curriculum for primary and secondary levels that suits your excellency's vision. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all aware that our guest of honor always stresses on the need for a knowledge-based economy. I therefore implore upon you upon the research institutions, the academia, our local industry, and all ministries, departments, and agencies here, to, here present to join hands in focusing on research that is capable of turning around the country's fortunes. No one else but ourselves. And I repeat, no one else but ourselves can do it for us. Hence our mantra, Nika Inovakwa Never Never. My appeal to you all, to you, to direct, is to direct your efforts towards collaborative research that responds to the challenges faced by the country. Each one of us 
should place their shoulders on the wheel and actively participate in the social economic transformation of Zimbabwe. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this conference further dovetails with your Excellency's incessant call in the Second Republic for research, science, technology, and innovation. To produce goods and services required for the modernization and industrialization of Zimbabwe. Through, this able, through his able leadership, our guest of honor introduced the National Development Strategy 1, which is angered on research, science, technology, and innovation as critical pillars for economic transformation and inclusive growth for our country. We have also witnessed the development of innovation, hubs, and industrial and technology parks located at most universities scattered throughout the country. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, please allow me to humbly invite 